Good afternoon everybody, this is Jane Hamilton Parker, medium, most respected spiritual woman around the world. Uh, there's been lots of controversy over His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. I have been very fortunate to be in his presence twice. Um, <clears throat> and I recently went to go and see a film about Tibet. And I'm going to talk from my personal inner view and out of view. Now, His Holiness, very much so, is a pure heart, compassion, love. And you've got to remember that um, the Communist Party Chinese don't want the Dalai Lama in Tibet, which he has been actually a prisoner there at some stage. And if we go and reverse things and look at all spiritual leaders, uh, Sai Baba, when we look at... Um, <clears throat> You know, Sai Baba, he had lots of things thrown at him and allegations. You'll find with spiritual leaders and people in power, even Jesus, you're going to have people that get jealous and want to see them in a bad light. Now, we are in the Kali, um, which is dark forces in the 21st century that will soon pass when this year comes out at the end of the year. So we've got lots of negative energy to, towards spiritual masters and spiritual people. Now, if we went to New Zealand or the Aborigines and we saw somebody rubbing noses together or poking tongues out, does that make us sexual predators? I don't think so. I think the, the my personal experience of the Dalai Lama is, as I say, pure light, innocence and a bit childlike, playing and laughter, always laughing. Now, <clears throat> I do feel that um, the child that was in front of him when he said, suck my tongue, why would you do that in front of a crowd if you were guilty? There's plenty of cameras and everything. And we all know with the media, once we have a slight tinge of um, rumours, then suddenly it spreads. No, it was on video. But remember, videos can be edited and cut down. Now, the Dalai Lama, like many spiritual teachers, holy people, rishis, sages, um, and people in high spiritual powers, Sharavana Baba, and all different swamis all around the land, can be accused of many, many things. So, I want you all to send out, through God's grace, a prayer, and think on the positive rather than the negative. This is a good man that's been persecuted. Now, where are you A-listers that should be there that have met him? Why aren't you all coming out and taking his part? And the thing is, <clears throat> there's rituals and the things about rituals in the Indian culture and the Sikh culture. In Christianity, we have all rituals. Now, if you look very, very closely, we can look for anything we want to in these things. Did John the Baptist, when he suddenly emerged people in the water, a young boy, and suddenly come up from the water, was he a paedophile? I don't think so, do you? Um, and also, getting back, I've actually stayed in an ashram in India for three weeks and was very blessed to be in the presence, my husband and I, of uh, Sai Baba. And I only saw good things and good things. If people start looking for negative, they're always going to find the negative. This is a very, very holy, pure heart, pure spirit, love, compassion. Suddenly when people, you know, suddenly zoom in on things, because one makes you wonder, what's that little boy plant? Um, or why would a child suddenly want to go and hug somebody? Because the love from the heart. And I feel that... Um, the Dalai Lama, His Holiness, was just playing. I've got no belief whatsoever that the Dalai Lama does wrong things, not at all. I would really know if I'm in front of somebody because sometimes you have people from high places in society that give such a good image and everything, but there's dark forces deep in the souls that happen. And I believe in karma and I believe the truth will come out. And I believe the Dalai Lama 
and may God bless him and that he lives for quite a long time to come and cause him suffering when this holy man's in his 80s is so wrong and I do put my hand to my heart and I believe 100% this man has done nothing wrong nothing wrong at all so one has to really look deeper and give a personal not just because the media is saying not just because it's called global or anything like that as I say you A-listers and I'm not going to name you because I know who you are why aren't you coming out and sticking up for this man that you know the truth as I said I've met him well, we went to St Paul's actually, and that's when the uh, Gurkhas were there in the front row. And I was with my younger granddaughter, who's two years old, suddenly this, she recognised him. And I felt love, immense love and kindness and, that, and joy. And as you know, and I believe 100% that holy people are celebrate. And the Dalai Lama does good works has compassion, has love. So if the whole of the planet could change their attitude and be more kinder, that little boy that was there was a very young boy that wanted us to hug him. Asked and he kissed me on the cheek. If you look at the clip, you'll see he looks absolutely shocked that this child is suddenly thrust upon him. Um, and then everything in there is recorded and you know there's many as I say rituals and it can go back to an old tibetan thing um when, when he i mean i'm not saying <coughs> it looked bad um saying suck my tongue or that evil thinkers evil doers that's what my grandmother used to say and a lot of it's true you know but <coughs> the dalai lama represents what the whole planet needs at the moment love compassion truth kindness joyous and to be kind to each other we're in most difficult times at the moment we've got <clears throat> a whole planet really being destroyed with all these housing developments happening in the countryside where we live you've got all the poor animals really don't know where to go and you've got all these um, people that are making rules for us and people don't realize your information on facebook TikTok and also on Google, it's all been stored. Where's it been stored? I think you know the answer, like I do. But I am going to stick up for the Dalai Lama. I'm a woman that has courage and a woman that has strength. This man is completely innocent. He hasn't done anything wrong. He is not a paedophile. He's a loving man that works on very high energy and vibrations. If I thought for one moment, and I would definitely know, then there's no way I would want to be part of any of it. I do not belong to the organisation of uh, Tibet or anything, but I like being with spiritual good people. And to be with spiritual good people, whether they're a Sikh, Muslim, Hindu, Christian, it makes such a difference because you're on quite a high energy but you know they don't want china doesn't want the dalai lama recognize there's um there was also a beautiful man a chinese man i get these names wrong as i'm trying to talk so much i'm just getting over laryngitis so uh sat son yin had the seven principles of china which were good principles I've had the pleasure of meeting his great granddaughter, his great great grandson, and they've given me these books, which I will give to the museum in London on the principles. And there's been a remarkable lady that's made so far 250 statues of him and given books to the universities and everything. So she had a very hard life, this lady, because of her beliefs. And, that, and it's very, very sad when we see high people, high spiritual people being destroyed. But you won't destroy the Dalai Lama because good people recognise the good that he's doing. And, and I just feel 
it is so sad that people have turned their back on him, a man in his 80s, doing good for the world, and it's all been misconstrued by looking at a video. So men have to be very careful. It goes back to like the old days, doesn't it? I remember when I was a nurse, you always, a doctor always had to have a nurse present for an examination, a patient. And I can understand that to protect them because there's so many haters and people that accuse things. And we're in a society that everyone wants to sue everybody to make money, unfortunately. But I pray for his holiness and I pray the truth comes out in the end karmically. This is a great man and we're very blessed in the 21st century that he's still around us on the planet. There's many spiritual leaders. Even when we had Mother Teresa, she went against the Catholic Church by taking orphans in and collecting them from the gutters. And a priest said to her, <clears throat> the Pope doesn't like you collecting these children from the gutter. It goes uh, against the religion, you should leave them. She said, I work for Jesus Christ and I'm going to pick these little souls up and they're going to leave the earth knowing they were truly loved. To me, that's a saint. And there's so many um, people, good spiritual people. Gandhi, what about people turned on Gandhi? Um, and all these lovely, lovely masters and sages. And that you're always going to get somebody that's going to look for something to destroy you. But <clears throat> do think about it. Why would the Dalai Lama, His Holiness, and a crowd, a big crowd of people, would do these things uh, pure, he's pure, and just playing with this child, childlike, and that, and teasing. And he's already apologised to the boy's mother and family, but it was pure innocence and playfulness. You wouldn't be so stupid to go and have things recorded like that, would you, if you were that way inclined? He's purely innocent. So I see a beautiful white light surrounding him, uh, definitely protected. And I just got to say, I for one, 100% believe that he is innocent. And somebody's trying to contact me already. Okay, we'll wait. Um, <clears throat> so all give a prayer out to His Holiness, that his suffering is not taken to heart. He's done nothing wrong. And also, God, may you grant him to live at least to his 100 years old. <laughs> That's if he wants it. But <clears throat> also, um, as I say, good spiritual people, please come out and show your spirituality towards an innocent man. Don't hide until you think the media is all going to die down and it's all going to, uh, then it'll be all right. You know, you should really have a conscience and have love in your heart. You know what is true. And people that have lived and stayed with him, you haven't seen anything wrong. When I stayed in the ashram uh, in India uh, at Sai Baba's ashram many years ago, I didn't see anything wrong. Uh, at all and I was there 24-7. I stayed there for I'm getting on for four weeks now and you had to get up early for darshan and um, prayers and everything. I just saw all the world coming together and with love and <clears throat> I don't feel I'm going to carry on anymore because I feel I've said quite enough because I'm losing my voice <laughs> a bit but I'm just feeling in my heart how dreadful that people jump on things and try to twist it around and see sexual things in everything. I think it's really disgusting and that if this had been an incident where there was something that had gone on and it wasn't filmed or anything like that, this court, that might be different. But this is out in the open for goodness sake. And it's quite a spiritual thing he hugged that boy. Um, <clears throat> the boy asked to give him a hug. 
and he kissed her. He looked quite stunned, actually, the Dalai Lama. And through the goodness of his heart, he just embraced him from the love and the heart chakra and just played with him like a six-year-old child himself. So <clears throat> I think at the end of the day, we are very blessed to have very spiritual people like this in our life. May God protect him and may the truth always come to the front and may Kali soon disappear, the Kali Yuga soon disappear because that's what's happening around the planet, negative energy. But we don't stay in negative energy, we stay in positive energy and we always embrace God and embrace the light. Anyway, <clears throat> peace be with all of you and do watch my channels and I will come on there now and again because I'm quite a busy woman. So, peace be with you. God bless you all.